Oh, goodness. Yo, Giggs, what's up? Thank you. Just a reminder, if you are tuning in, there is still time to sign up if you qualify for the Rookies Bracket. If you don't know if you qualify, you probably do. Tournament starts in like 15 minutes. Also, I need... I need... Uh, Nin Jaden, Green Square, and Westile need to check in. Please get in the Discord and check in. Damn, we get some classic Alex V. I think this was... Yeah, this was for the 3v3 that I was in, I'm pretty sure. Or I was a team captain for, I wasn't just in it. I was a captain. I put up Killer Instinct. That might be helpful to running a tournament for Killer Instinct.
coming in with another warning. Ten minutes left to sign up if you want to play some Killer Instinct today. Also, Nin Jaden, Green Square and West Style, you all need to check in. Otherwise, I will have to remove you from the bracket. Okay, West all checked in themselves. Okay, never mind. I just need in Jaden Green Square now. Got a little double echo going on on me. That's weird. I don't know why that would be the case. Hey, gravity. Yeah, I don't. I'm going to hope that that goes away <laughs> whenever uh, we switch to the main scene because I have no idea what it was going on. Is it on my voice or is it on the the application? On the uh, the sound, the music. Sound is okay. Alright. Thank you, Gigs. It looks like Ninjaden and Green Square might be from the Australian scene, so Maybe they're not showing up. <laughs> or maybe they're going to wake up at the last minute. That's unfortunate. So that means we're not going to have very many people showing up. Please. Go and play some KI. Find up now. There's still like eight minutes left. We only got four people signed up at the moment. For this rookie's bracket. Nemo Noom, what's up? It's looking like it's going to be a short stream today, unless more people sign up, which is fine, you know? People just aren't feeling the KI lately, that's okay. Unless Ninjade and Green Square decide to wake up. I'm hoping they're just in the AZ Discord for somewhere and they're not actually from ANC, because, like, that's definitely really pushing it in terms of connection, but I don't know, we'll see how it works if they do uh, manage to check in on time. Your boy hack. What is happening? I'm assuming you're just here to to view this week cuz uh you're not signed up. Once again, 5 minutes left to sign up if you would like to play some Killer Instinct. Without, you know, having to run into people like Alex V or uh, Kron, <laughs> any of those big names. 
they're not allowed to enter this bracket. This is only for beginners to intermediates. Maybe a few players that, you know, maybe shouldn't be in there, but I think it's fine for now. They'll get out eventually. Yeah, I will make sure they graduate and be banished. You have a hair appointment, that's okay. It'll be a short tournament, I think, but you know, we'll have fun regardless. Always next week. I plan on keep on running them just no matter uh, how the uh, the population goes. I believe I have one of these where only two people signed up and we did like a first to ten or something between them. So, you know, as long as two people are here, I will do something every Wednesday and Saturday for KI. Provided I'm not like traveling somewhere. Yeah, we uh, Webin's pretty good, for sure. Webin is definitely one of the players that I'm like, I'm kind of borderline on whether or not I should actually allow them in these rookies brackets, honestly. But, you know. Maybe it's something on your side. It's okay, Ego Man. I appreciate you bringing it up. If there's even uh, the possibility of an issue, I'd like to know. Yeah, he signed up. Yeah, I know. That's why. That's why I brought it up. All right. Again, Ninjaiden. Jaiden. Is that how you're supposed to say it? Is it Ninjaiden or is it Ninjaiden? Doesn't matter. And Green Square. Please check in if you can hear my voice. Also, players, you have about three minutes left to sign up. So even the last time I do a Discord ping. Sorry for annoying everyone. I feel like Thunder could probably do okay against Sidira, but it's probably kind of tough. He's definitely good for mixing, and she doesn't have any true reversals. She has the, the fully evil web cling, but you can still block on the way back. So, I don't know. As long as you're not super over committing. You can still mix her pretty effectively. Samamish is good as well for uh, beating the Widow's Bite. Because he's projectile invincible for a while until he uh, does the follow up style of Samamish. It's probably tough though. It's probably not, you know, as easy as um, it might seem with uh, me just spelling it out. Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna play all of them on stream, unless like a bunch of people sign up within the next few minutes. Which I don't think is going to happen. Yeah, I was gonna say, Webin, I, I feel like Thunder probably does it pretty well against Sidira, but I don't really have the personal experience myself in the matchup, so I don't know. Don't play either of those characters either, so... It's all, it's all theory crafting in my head, which is, you know, it's, it's worth something. <laughs> it's not as valuable as someone that actually plays the, the match, though. Again, you got about a minute and a half or so. If you want to play some KI in a lower level bracket, Please sign up. Tell me your intentions to sign up as well. If uh, if you tell me that you want to sign up, I, I will hold the bracket just to let you sign up. <laughs> Discord app is weird. You're not getting notifications for anything on there? Okay. Well, hopefully that's a you issue. <laughs> If that's that's kind of bad if it's actually like all of Discord is doing that. You wish you could join? That's okay. Like I said, there'll be a rookies next week as well. There's no need to you know feel bad about or anything. If anything, you know, it's a win-win for me. I, I'd appreciate if there was like 60 people that signed up. That would be amazing. 
But also, I would love uh, how you sign up. You uh, click on that link, make sure you're in the Discord and whatnot. But yeah, uh, even if a few people sign up, that just means, you know, that means I get more free time in my day. <laughs> I need a commentator. Uh, if someone wants to hop on that I trust relatively or, or I feel like I'm willing to give a chance to, you know, we could do that. But if not, it's okay. Gravity, were you teasing me or were you trying to sign up? Let me know. Either way, it's fine. You don't need to sign up for my sake. Because uh, once once I'm uh, I know whether or not you are actually trying to sign up, I will uh, I'll finish the bracket. Yeah, I think we're definitely yeah we're gonna switch to a full round robin. I'm gonna lower this a little bit as I'm talking here. Just waiting to hear from Gravity. Welcome all. Also, I forgot to fix the schedule. Let me do that real fast while we're waiting here. Ha-ha. Ha-ha. There we go. I fixed it. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Ultrafine Atomic Rookies. Number 44. We're going to get started soon. I got to switch how the bracket is. And got to make sure... I gotta make sure Gravity wants to sign up or not. It looks like they might be having some issues if they are trying to sign up. But yeah, welcome everyone. We'll get started soon. Wish the dare was good if she was in season two. I don't. Fuck that. Although, you know, at least you said season two. If you said season one, you know, you're a criminal. Go ahead, having issues. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, these happen every single Saturday, by the way, if you are interested in playing. Yeah, we're gonna have six matches. Yeah, we'll still run those first to three. I was like, maybe we could run them a little, a little lengthier. But nah, I'm gonna, I'll keep it first to three. Uh, so yeah, everything's on stream. If you don't know how this works, actually, all these players know how it works. They've all entered before. I'm going to go ahead and say I think Webin takes this uh, pretty cleanly. <laughs> I'm definitely, I'm working on a, a, uh, a modification to my algorithm of how I seed players to where um, possibly some of these uh, players that, you know, are pretty high level, they get out of here a little faster. Nothing against you, Webin. You're definitely, you're, you know, you've been playing this game for a while. You're a veteran, so. Actually, you know what? I'm going to play an advertisement right now. Sorry. I just want to make sure it doesn't interfere with matches. So bear with me for a minute. And we're going to get webbing and bodied. Ads! <laughs> How dare you fucking complain? I know you can't hear me though. Let's see. If y'all want to wait for invites, give me a moment. I'll get them going. 
up snare hole. I know snare hole's always lurking. I appreciate the lurkers. Okay, I sent the invites out to bodied and weapon. We should be yeah, there's one. You're clean to ready up. I I don't I think the ad should be over. Master Duel? Do y'all play Master Duel? Body, you're good to go. I don't know why you're uh, waiting. Let me do a, a fancy... The card game... Uh, there's a bunch of card games I like. But I really wish the Digimon, the current Digimon card game, had like a, 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 a online like digital version. I just... I don't have the money to keep up the cardboard and uh, or the time. That's the game I would love to just like get into casually, like on my computer or a phone or something. Okay, here we go. Sadira and Kim. Honestly, I think it's a 5-5 matchup. We'll see how these two play it though. I like in the cautiousness that Bodied is showing a nice little punish. The cross-up jumping heavy kick? Yeah, I do play Magic the Gathering every now and then. I really like or Magic the Gathering Arena, specifically the digital version. I'm very much a fan of digital versions of card games. Yeah, I know Master Link is a mobile. I, I'm not that interested in Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I, I was never bit by the bug. It seems a little degenerate. <laughs> Get the punish! I'm sure there's something good there, but I've just I've not really tried it super uh, a lot yet. That that made total sense. That actually linked. No, you dropped the combo. Body's actually doing pretty well in the matchup. He's just like he's dropping a lot of stuff. Yeah, heavy break. Body knows to look for those. No, I didn't see that. You'd have to send it to me. Uh, you could, uh, I don't know, you can send it to me on Discord, I guess. Victory. Yeah, I'm glad it takes that first one. Damn. Sorry. Sorry, I'm trying to <laughs> talk to someone in Discord. One of the the players that didn't check in chime, like woke up right now, which is unfortunate because I just started the bracket. I don't want to restart matches. That's like once I start doing any matches, I call a match. That's when we uh, that's when the sign up call uh, the cutoff is done. So, you know, if you're a little sneaky, you like, you wake up a few minutes past the, the hour or you activate it. Why are you doing... Webin. Webin. Why are you doing manuals in a lockout? There's no reason. It's unoptimal. Stop it. I thought Webin would know better than this. <laughs> Maybe he does belong in these tournaments. I don't know what I'm doing. What is this doing? B body, you gotta you gotta have a little more forethought here. Unfortunately, as much as I wish it was, Kim's dragon cancel is not a drive rush. It would be incredible if it was a drive rush. Oh no! Didn't use the plus frames. Just sent it. Yeah, that was pretty dominant from Webin. A good Sadira, you know, can be hard to know how to defend against or even move around.
Yeah, yeah I, I see it. I'm... I will try to look at that after the tournament and get back to you. I'm not going to watch a video while I'm running a bracket. I want that audio fed into here as well. I appreciate it, though. Okay, bodied. Bodied needs to make some adjustments here. I feel like he just, you know, the major thing, especially Sadir is a character where if you don't have her knocked down, you got to approach you, you got to appro uh, approach her very carefully. Cuz she's not good at making forward offense, but she's really good at like stopping people from coming in. You're catching them from afar. I like that he's setting up the mortars, trying to get her out of the air. I don't know if Riptor is the best choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's very susceptible to mix. What the hell is that? You know what? I appreciate the counter breaker there attempt because I would have totally been trying to break on that. That was some bullshit. <laughs> the classic bullshit breaker. Yeah, body's looking a little unfocused in his ideas, though. At least he did not get hit. Nice block. Oh, no. Got hit there. Bust out. If I were bodied, I'd be trying to block, gain some meter. And then, uh, Weapon's been using these heavy kunais a lot. I would just be trying to shadow counter them. That would be one of my main strategies right now. I'm trying to make him stop using those. Oh my god, no, he, he's the one getting mixed now. Yeah. Riptor probably can do pretty well, especially in Instinct. He can probably wake up Instinct whenever Sidir is above her head and then just run out because the armor starts up so much faster. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> what is this game? I don't think I've seen this matchup. There's so much shit I've never seen before happening. Oh my god. <laughs> no, there we go. Stopping the run in. I like it. That's definitely something you gotta do against Riptor is checking them running in. Ooh, one chance. And he locks out, he gets the life bar. I feel like uh, Body should work on his Riptor pressure. Okay, that's safe. You probably could have actually Elflinged that. Probably would have won. Oh, no. Body definitely relying a little too much on the Telfling. I think with the Shadow Web Cling, though, I think he could probably do it. But that's going to be a quick 3 0 for Webin. Like I said, Webin's, Webin's definitely the most experienced player here. So I'd be a little, a little surprised if he didn't take it. But you know, some of these players might surprise me. We'll see. Uh, can y'all get out of here, please? The set's over. Thank you. All right, here's another commercial. We might have a commentator. Hello? Oh God, you're here so fast. Welcome, Sean. Well, yes, thank you. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, they're not going to be able to hear you for a second because I'm going to send them on a commercial. Well, some people can hear you. The people that, you know, yeah, no are generous benefactors of the Ultra Fun Atomic Weekly and give me a sub on Twitch can hear me. Yes. Please give T-Baby more money. Uh, <laughs> You're on Steam, right? Uh, yes. Okay. I will just, uh, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll join the lobby and then I don't know if I'll be able to send any invites, but, you know, you, you won't be able to, probably. I, actually, I don't know how it works on Steam. I don't know Xbox. Uh, me neither. On Xbox, you tend to have to be the, uh, the host to be able to send. Yeah. But, yeah, for sure. you know, I'm not sure how that works on Steam. Me neither. Uh, for fail. Let's experiment. Let's experiment. It's my, oh, yeah. it's my patented 
for sure. Okay. Um, and I believe last time I was on the mic, uh, people mentioned that I was really quiet on yeah, the screen. Yeah, that, that was that was that was Roman setup. Actually, you know what? Okay. Th that you mentioned that. Just talk for me. Just make noise. Yeah. Okay. We're 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 making noise. We're talking you're, you're about, definitely good. about the noise. If okay, anything, you, you might be a little overtuned, but you know we'll we'll figure okay. that out. I mean, I tend to talk very loud when I'm excited, and I'm excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I should uh, cancel. Yeah, you should unready for <laughs> no, sure. Just, just crash the tournament. Uh, then I would be a crash baby. Boo. Never mind. Get out of here. Get out of my <laughs> lobby. Yeah. No, I was uh I was hoping to actually join this one, but uh I I was out for dinner and I got home about a minute after sign ended, so Mm -hmm. Well, like We're I gonna... said, like I said earlier, like you know, even if we have low numbers, that's fine. I plan on doing these yeah. like no matter what. Well, as long as at least two people sign up, I can't really do something yeah. if if <laughs> just one person's there. I can't really do anything with that. Yeah, it's it'd be a, a little a little thin on the uh, player count. Mm -hmm. Um, but let me just go check the bracket. I recognize. Like, I've seen WebN around in the brackets lately. Obviously, I'm very familiar with Body by Kim. I have not personally played against Westile. Westile's but, a wolf uh, player. I've, yes, I've seen their name on, or like, in the tournament. But uh, I've not I've not played them myself. Um, and then, of course, Craven. There we Craven's go. kicking ass. Yeah, Craven's always, always improving. Uh, who do we have up? We Speaking have West Hall and Craven. They're good to go Hell wherever yeah. they want to. Whoa. So it should be some and the, more half the bracket is Sadira. I, I mean, it's only four players, but half the bracket <laughs> is Sadira this week. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I mean, I'm not going, or I'm I'm not going to pretend like I know a whole lot about the Sadira Wolf matchup. Um, I know Wolf's got a really good up down DP that has pretty good coverage against like cross up shenanigans. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm really not familiar with his air-to-air -air game because I know that there's there's a handful of characters who do not anti-air Sadira's projectile shenanigans well. Hisako being one of them that I've learned. <laughs> it does. I mean, Shadow Eclipse works for it, but uh, Eclipse yeah, yeah. normally does not work at all for like dealing with Widow's bike because it's not involved at all. It's just really fast. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. It's not gonna be all night. It's only gonna be like two hours or something, if even that. Like I think maybe. Ooh, got the jab punish. Ah, that was close. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, reset. I like that's, it. That's cheeky. Throw punish. And I hate like, it. Just yeah, throw throw punish. I think is good there. sadir has got fun juggles. Yeah, but Ooh. I feel like it's better just to get a jab starter. Grounded true. combos are always optimal. No popping true, the instinct. True, true. Yes, I want I, I want to see Craven popping instinct more for her. Um, in that case, like free wake up, you just get to pick the option that beats whatever your opponent's doing. Your jab is one frame faster. Yeah, Westall I think does know how to navigate this though. He'll stay away from the web as long as it's up. Sure. There we go though. Beat it? No, a little what? late. I can't believe save. the involve lasted long enough. Oh, that's a bullcrap. There was hit stun from a. Uh... It's some from the web caused it to be able to be blocked, I think. Oh, that's so pro funny. Projectiles only add hit stop to the uh, to the Ooh, yeah, person blocking hit. it or getting hit by it. Yeah, the uh, I, I noticed that the the changes to the hit stop on Arya's shotgun blitz like changes the timing for a bunch of her old setups, and that kind of stuff is very funny. She keeps on trying to be tricky with this, those die kicks. I feel like the die kicks are more gimmicks than anything. I don't think they're actually that good. Yeah. Some of them are really good while webs are out, but other than that, you're gonna get punished yeah. a lot. Yeah, Sadira doesn't have coverage like her. You know, she's considered on the lower end of the tier list for a reason, I think. But this, that was more or less just West Isle running in and doing wolf things. Um, with the, you know, Sidira's sort of lack of good universal wake-up options, I where she like, has to, she has to start guessing, or block. I feel like he was being pretty... 
pretty patient too. Like he was just looking for his spots to go in. He wasn't like going super crazy unless he already had the knockdown. Yeah. Also, and, but, and like I was just going to say, I'm a fan sure. of West Isle. Like I think he only played rank long enough to get the beast name, like marker on oh, his profile, funny. and then he just stopped playing ranked. Because he's definitely he definitely if he played a lot or even a little bit he would not be a silver player. Yeah. Um, were they the one who was, uh, using the wall splat ender when they first started a bunch? Like, just in I neutral? Mean, they were doing it last <laughs> week. <laughs> so. Okay, I, I mean, I'm seeing consistent, like, cash outs and, like, good, good cash outs for the, uh... No! Oh no, sweet punish. Jet punish, jet punish only. <laughs> yeah. But no, they're, like, West Isle has been consistently cashing out combos in, a, I, I think, a way that is good and that makes a lot of sense and it's working. And that's what we like to see. You know, is a uh, step one of rookies that I like analyzing is to what extent are they using the system mechanics? Like, mm -hmm. is instinct being used whenever it's up? Are they consistently cashing out combos with, you know, quote unquote, the right ender? Ooh, that's oh, nice. the web. The no. web's so good. I don't know. Didn't get the setup. Uh, I mean, Noble Wolf is doing that too, but West saw last, last time they played, I'm pretty sure we, we made a note that, like, he kept on doing wall splat into like mid screen. He was trying to like okay. ch do like tech chasing afterwards or something, but it just doesn't work that well because there's no plus frames off that. Yeah, it's uh the wall splat into like you know heavy orchid slide is a gimmick. <laughs> you you get yeah. it once in a set. <laughs> no, the low. Honestly, I think rather than like oh my god, she low profiled. I yeah, think in low profile, I don't think it was a, a mistiming of frames. That was no, not at all. Um, so Sudira's approaching light kick, low profile is a lot of stuff. Oh, that was a nice save jump. I like it. But yeah, I was gonna say, I think one of the main issues with Craven's play is nothing like technical. It's more of a game plan thing. She keeps on going for these high risk options that are not paying off. Yeah. I find she struggles sometimes to be comfortable sitting still. Yeah, that is definitely like, a thing as well. You know, we're we're gonna throw out something with lower body involve on wake up just in case, or you know, throw out the upper body thing. But there's there there is a bit of a lack of patience there. It's like something always needs to be happening, or like you know, uh, shadow blade demon in neutral just to get in things like that. Like, mm -hmm. she's got good movement. Her walk speed is very fast now like <laughs> she's got she's got a good walk speed after the patch he's zooming i mean it was decent um, before the patch but it's even better now yeah no you 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 put her next to orchid in training mode and you realize that sadira actually outspeeds her and it's like you're kidding me <laughs> but yeah um what was i gonna say yeah it's a patience thing like that's a, a thing i i do like a personal struggle of mine in fighting games is like not pressing a fucking button like I get killed yeah. in like Street Fighter Six so much just because I won't, I won't just uh, you know let things go unchallenged. I, like they're near me, I gotta press a button, I gotta throw a tech, I gotta yeah. do something. One thing I noticed actually about when I started playing SF Six is how much more powerful they do have mashing out of pressure be. Like mm -hmm. Ki, it rarely feels like mashing out of pressure is a option that you want to be going for. Like, yeah. almost at all. Um, SF6, it feels a lot more viable. I mean, it's a, it's also just another thing in, like, Street Fighter 6. Like, the calculus for this game is so different from other games because you can uh, break out the... combos. Like, you have the ultimate defense in that if your blocking works, or if, you know, you just get hit, if you just block. Oh my <laughs> god, the low profile again. <laughs> yeah, I feel like she's definitely trying to mash too much. She should definitely try yeah. to block a bit more. Whip punish. That was that was actually nice patience from her. I, I appreciate that. Just like pop the instinct block, let the uh, projectile do its thing. No, she should have pushed him. I mean, hey, each game has been getting closer and closer. So clearly, yeah. Craven uh, like doing this. something right. I like her not doing too much. He's just running. Oh, oh my boy. god, he ran the other way. <laughs> to be fair, yeah. Sayrolf is a hard character to like pin down. Oh, that shit. actually worked, but no shadow counter. The minus one though. Ooh, no punish. Yeah. Okay. You know, we'll we'll take the. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's being a little bit too predictable on her juggles. 
West is also funny in that they uh they really like manuals in their combos. Yeah, some people are big combo perverts that play this game. No, I mean, man manuals are cool and whatnot, but like, yeah, when you when you see a lockout, please, please just do your optimal. <laughs> Ultra. Okay, that was clean. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Snarefall makes another good point. A lot fewer pl uh, plus on block buttons in Street Fighter Six, so mashing out yeah, is a little better. True. Yeah, mashing. Mashing is a much more viable strategy there. Here, it's uh, yeah, it's terrifying. <laughs> Here, you might just die. <laughs> you just die. <laughs> okay, another commercial break because I gotta make sure I make all the money. I'm making millions of dollars running ads for a tournament that 20 people are watching. Can you believe it? I mean, honestly, I'm I'm just glad that there's now a bit more of a reliable way for you to get paid for hosting these because you do a great fucking job. Yeah, so. thank you, thank you. Sorry, I was yeah, no, I've, I've, <laughs> I was just again, ignoring you. No, yeah, you've been a real like honestly, just from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Seriously, you've done so much for us. No, it's, we don't it's, we don't deserve it. I started this whenever there wasn't really uh, a reliable bracket runner like no one was running it weekly on a regular basis and i was like this game is too sick the online's like good <laughs> enough like there this game needs to have a weekly like there's no reason for i mean not to. honestly ki's netcode is still more performant and crispier than any of the modern games i've played it's, it's actually just kind of upsetting it's really really good the the features around it like the lobbies and stuff like that. Horrible. It's obviously it's dog shit. It's awful. <laughs> yeah, they're they're really bad. And there's Match a lot. Rank. There's a lot of outlying like sort of connection issues that like it doesn't yeah. handle well. But besides that, like overall, it's really good. Hell yeah, body by Kim playing Ripter pretty consistently. We've got two, you know, mash your face into each other characters. So this will be fun. This will be a lot of fun. Hey, Stachi, um, what's up? Uh, Ohio. That's that's my best uh, Japanese. Ohio Gazamasu. Yes. Kondama. No, that's it's not, no. Maybe for us, it's it's that. But <laughs> I re I remember so little of my Japanese. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Yeah. Tournament where American and Mexican played in ran fine. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I need to go back and watch that. Unfortunately, I wasn't not able to be awake. But uh, spoilers: SVM won the bracket. It was like a thirty-two person bracket. That's awesome. I think I don't know if any other Americans joined besides Alex and uh, SVM. Alex got third. I'm curious to see what happened there. Nice overhead reset. Sure. Now this is a uh... okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Overpower is really good. Oh no! Push. Uh, Nobody. You know, the block, like, honestly, the block stop on Eclipse is low enough that I get why people miss it, but, like, if you don't know what the frame data is on something like that, just just jab it. It's fine. Yeah, jump punishes are fine this game because, you know, you get to do a full combo regardless. Yeah. Yeah, just... Oh, no! Welcome back, Raven. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, you always, you always gotta go for, just like, throw out the shadow counter, because like, you should be representing all of your options. There yeah, it is, there we go. right back. Listening. Perfect. I love it. You just, you can't, you, you I I cannot let your opponent do free shit. You, you gotta throw out bad options, just so that they're thinking about it. Mm -hmm. I'm a big believer in that. I would definitely also put bodied in the same, like, a little bit yes. the same category as a uh, Kraven, and that... He goes for a lot of things that are just kind of unnecessary. He should just simplify his game plan. He's going for a lot of crazy shit that's just not working out. That was breakable, right? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I, I, I kind of <laughs> that looked breakable. I, my brain went somewhere during the last little bit there. No, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, bodied. Uh Honestly, like in the matches I've played against Bodied, at least with Kim, they they do know how to sit still and like you know use her good block speed and her tools. Mm -hmm. 
and yeah. stuff like that. Ripter, obviously, they they go pretty ham and they have some really funny setups. Uh, I would say but, uh, this matchup specifically, you do want to be a little bit more patient with Kim, because yeah, a I'm lot of surprised. times, like like this matchup, I think is in Wolf's favor, but it's mostly just because of his button strength, uh, the That's strength so of his good. buttons and how fast they are. Like because uh, a lot of like minus situations, it's it's actually just Wolf's turn. Because uh, she yeah. can't reach him fast enough, but yeah, he could definitely be representing Shadow Counter more. Westall is really just sending out those uh, those ragged edges. Those are pretty easy as long as you're looking for them to uh, Shadow Counter on reaction. No, absolutely. And Wolf is a character where I think you should always meet him, even if they have meter. Like, them. oh yeah, no, absolutely. If they if they're spending you know a bar to get. What like ten percent? I mean, I'm taking that every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because he, I don't. Does he even have moves that are like throw in vuln and do something else? Uh, he has or like. Uh, shadow leaping slash is like throw in vuln and it kind of goes over a lot of buttons as a way. Yeah, go. but even then, that's still metered, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, instinct, instinct, Kim. Uh Sure, we'll take it. <laughs> juggle, knockdown. Funny juggle, plus frames. You know what? I, I respect not just jailing. That was that was good. Tricky stuff. Okay, that's I like it. We're getting out. something going. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's just work weird. on your media. Yeah, West style, you get killed. I mean, that's a you thing. That's a thing that's frustrating against uh, Wolf. Is like if you're not meaties, he passes through you in yeah, three exactly. frames with the four dash. So. Pretty tight window to actually keep your meaties meaty, and uh, Wolf actually still takes it. Yeah, oh get out no, there. the dive no. kick. Kim, body, please calm down a little bit. Get the punish. Okay. Let's go. We, we got a real punish. We like that. I like the one chance. Quick combo. Yeah. Missed Short the meaty. Combo. Oh, it didn't. Meaty, perfect. I thought that was going to miss, nice. honestly. Also, yes, parry is something you definitely want to represent against Wolf. Yeah. Because they want to press the button. Represent all your you. options. There we go. Yeah, it, it, you, you can't do it too many times in a row. Uh, I like him doing it until they showed that they were going to do it. Yeah, no, that's fair. The the problem though is they they just they don't have a whole lot of health to play with Ooh, at this that point. That was tricky. I don't like the shadow cash out for a level one, honestly. Yeah, me neither. No, Ooh, that was that was really vicious. I would have instant camp. Oh no, it wasn't in hit center block stun. He got the trade oh, combo off that. Yeah, good enough. If it works, it works. And that was a, uh, yeah. I have a trouble dealing with uh, people's breaking habits. I, I think Westall's mostly been trying to break on linkers. I don't think he's been going for the obvious heavies. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of medium guesses on stuff, mm -hmm. which like, you know, it works. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not feeling a whole lot of just like sitting around and waiting for stuff to react to from Westall. And I. Absolutely agree with your sense that like that was an extremely ambitious counterbreaker, and <laughs> I don't think it was good. Although at the same time, didn't get punished for it, so like, yeah, yeah, that's you, the, you know, counterbreaks are all about risk management. Like, if you if your opponent's just like throw punishing you every time you counterbreak him, like just keep doing oh, yeah. it. Like, or if you could take that. <laughs> what is that like nine yeah. percent for most characters somewhere in that range? Like, yeah, it's not too bad. Also, just, you know, another situation like, you know, trying to counter break when you have, like, no life left can be worth it. As long as you have a pretty solid read, don't just go for it randomly. Yeah, I'd, like, it happens once and you feel like a god for the next week, and then you, any other time you do it, though, you just die. Throw a punish? Try the meaty? I like that, actually. Okay, yeah, no, that's a good option. Just button, button, see what they do. I prefer, okay, I like that call out. If you're going to use a close button, a medium button, I prefer doing close. Yeah, I don't know why he's going for these manuals. Because they're fun. They are fun. No, I, I, I agree. It's that. also like probably not worth it. Like you gotta make sure your opponent is like consistently reaction or guessing your uh, your shit correctly. I, if you, I can't believe you... that lasted. Yeah, it's it it does. Yeah. West style, please heavy auto double. Heavy, uh, overpower. Wait, not overpower. No, he dropped it! Dragon Age? Works. No. No, that was definitely misinput. Oh, uh, yeah, I know no, he knows better. For sure. Okay, instinct, stuff, 
I like those. Okay, well, I respect the parry attempt. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, you know, anti cam tech here, if she dragon cannons in your face and you block it, poke back. That thing's like minus yeah. 11. It's not safe. Not for sure. You, you know what? As this a cam, is great. You, you want to be dragon canceling off of stuff, not dragon cannoning. That was cute. I like that a lot. Just, you know, you have the life lead, sit back, wait for them to make a stupid approach option, and then do a big forward advancing something at them. It get Shit like that gets me all the time, and I like seeing when people represent it. I think it's really strong, especially down here. Mm -hmm. Down here, I say, <laughs> derogatory. That's right, you, you know what I mean. I'm not trying to be disrespectful at all. I'm, I'm no, also, no, you know. It's, you know it's... We're not esports, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, it, we have a, well, this is a uh, round robin, so we don't have a loser's yeah. bracket, but during double elimination, we have a loser's bracket. Nice, that was a really nice conversion. I don't know about the shadow cash. Uh, getting, like, getting the extra heavy kick on it is really good, actually. Throw, yeah. the back dashing? No, it wasn't a throw, what was that? Oof. No block. Oh, that was that was rough. I mean, the saber wolf shenanigans. I I can't block that. I got hit. Yeah. <laughs> I got hit. And that was three. He was doing so well in the last one too. Unfortunate. Got another three. Another three zero. Yeah. Also, I want to add to Kim. He was doing. He was doing meaty, close medium kick for some reason. If you go to a close medium, I would suggest doing close medium punch because you can kata cancel it. And katas have special priority, so if they try to button back, you'll probably catch them. So it's a very strong option for Kim to go for. And especially if you do uh, medium, if you if they don't back dash out of it, if you do medium into medium kata and they block the first one and they try to poke in between the, the kata cancel, they'll just get hit. So uh, it's it's pretty strong. It's it's a lot stronger in the corner when they can't really escape out of it with a back dash. But also, if you're on it, you can actually fully just react to the screen freeze of a shadow uh, a shadow counter with throw or your own shadow move to try to beat it. Like it's she has some pretty strong uh, situational uh, options there. Cool, cool. Tech from the experts, really. It's something I should use bit more, honestly. <laughs> uh, also, if yeah. you catch them on there, you can also just, you know, you can steal some plus, for, uh, steal some turns, actually, if they're... Because you can do, like, close medium punch, which is technically negative if you don't cancel it. But if they're, you know, if they get hit by the Kata cancel, then I, you know, respect it a bit. And then you can just walk up and throw them. You, yeah. I, I don't even think you need to walk up, I, actually. I think I think you're just in range. Pretty conscious of screen placement. Yeah, you're doing you're doing better. I feel like you need to calm down a bit. I feel like you need to be willing to block a bit more than trying to answer back at all times with something. True. The um, patience one of is like one of the. It's one of the hardest things to learn in fighting games, but it's actually a really potent tool. I was I was about to say there was. Actually, basically, just to support exactly what you said, there was a point when I was playing KI where I just said, it's time to start chilling, like, a lot more. And even if I wasn't necessarily winning as much, it definitely helped me learn a lot more aspects of the game. Like, I was uh, talking to somebody else newer, I think, Dynamic Web. I think that's uh, what their screen handle is. Um... And like they were, they would guess break a whole lot, mm -hmm. and you know, I'd I'd see the lockout just dump meter, they'd explode, and it's like, if you're getting hit, especially in KI, because you can always break, yeah. you can just chill, and it's okay, because like sometimes, yeah, I can I can afford to take that much damage, because as you say, it's all risk oh, rewards sorts of stuff, one hundred percent, and you know, Soundy, who uh, you know is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone that I played a lot with, he just never breaks, and it it freaks people out. 
Um, it can be so, very you know, strong, uh, especially if you're like selective with your breakers. Like you're gonna be, yeah. it's gonna be a lot harder to uh, counter break you. Yeah. But you know, there's a way to play around the people if they are breaking frequently. Like with one chance combos, just knock them down, get a mix going. There's uh, there's so many ways that you can approach the breaker game. It uh, it might blow your mind. We think about it a bit. Also, hello to Pine. What's up? Yes. It's nice to see the Japanese community watching. Hell yeah. Also, one thing I will say about Craven, her optimization, but like the moment that she recognizes a lockout, just really optimizes her combos, and I love to see it. Mm -hmm. What is happening? Ooh, what, yeah. what was that? that? Cancel. <laughs> backdash, backdash. You know what? I respect it. I like it. We have two we have of the web. strongest characters in the game on screen right now. We have web on web action. <laughs> yeah, just jump canceling everything. Oh my god. Sadira and Instinct is just, just the monster. Yeah, I don't I don't really uh I don't know Ooh, if I've seen this mirror up. too much. <laughs> oh god, oh no, it wasn't blocking. I'm surprised that hit at all. It looked it looked like she was blocking. And I would uh, I would push back a little bit. And Sidira is really scary in instinct if she's up on you. If you can yeah. just walk away, she's like not scary at all, actually. It's true. But like both of them were in instinct, and both yeah, of them yeah. very clearly wanted to capitalize on it. Oh, Craven's just keeps on. That was a good break. I, I I support that break a lot. It's just good. I would. And vote, now I would vote for Webbing the break. Gets walk back. And just kind of play keep away. Oh god, that cross up is so nasty. Oh yeah, uh, Slimothy, I've seen so many people in rank that like the first combo they get, they immediately counter break her. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, buddy, you don't even know me. Why? You, why are you like this? Yeah. What is going on? Yeah, no. When you're, especially if you're playing long sets, like you can afford to eat the first couple combos just to see what your opponent does. Right? Or like if you know, if you do something that has plus frames, you can also you don't have to keep doing stuff. You can actually just back off and just no, see if your opponent is someone who's gonna mash DP on all your possible. I like that you mentioned right? that because like patience and offense is also really strong as well. Cause like Shadow Counter is so powerful in this game. But if you're not like always pressing on your plus frames, a lot of times you can catch them just whiffing a shadow counter and get a full on punish. Yeah, exactly. Whew. Like, yeah. I, I will just always, I, I always say, represent all your options, even if some of them are kind of risky and bad. You know, all you have to do is do it once, and you'll put it in your opponent's head. No one's going to stop you, devil. You're too powerful. You're, you're <laughs> the exceptions to the not rules that we're talking about. We're just saying, like, you know, it's true. sometimes a little bit of patience can be uh, pretty powerful to include in your, in your game plan. These gamers, they just like to keep on pressing buttons all the time. Yeah. Craig yeah, is like definitely working on it. I'm pretty sure ending the full screen. I'm pretty sure some of these Shadow players Demon. Are, are listening, and uh, they actually. Ooh, that was uh, that was ambitious. I definitely don't really like doing it unless not with the launcher at least. As well, go for like a grounded hit. So if you time your web right, they're just they can't really punish you for doing it. Yeah, I, I do not know a lot about this character, so. I'm mostly just philosophizing at this point. I don't, like I don't have a whole lot to say about the matchup. Yeah, I don't like that she does it immediately at the start of, of web combos either. I'd like to see a little bit more variety in her placement. That's like the yeah. name of the game, honestly, is like you've got to... It's the most difficult, one of the most difficult aspects of the game Ooh. is being really good at bearing up your combos. There. No. Oh. oh, no. You know what? I respect the break attempt. It's just like, you know, I, I need I need this to end so that I can do something with my last little bit of life. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Yeah, I think it's usually the smart, safe option. But at the same time, WebN had so much health to play with. It's like, well, if they don't break, they're going to die. And so you throw it out. Yeah. I definitely think, though, that if uh, uh, Ragnarok was like much lower on health, that they it probably wouldn't have gone for it. it. It definitely becomes a much more risky uh, idea because, like, you know, if yeah. they were both in danger, like, he could have died for attempting that. Oh, I've for lost sure. games, so many games, 
from I'm getting the hit when they're close to danger, and I go for a risky counterbreaker, and they yeah. don't die, and then they just they kill me. They go right into ultra, and I'm just like, why did I do that? That was silly. Yeah. Especially whenever you're like you got them at the end of life bar. I would say like 99% of the time, go for the kill. Don't don't try to do any sort of shenanigans. Like if you can get the, if you know you can just confirm, regardless if they break or not, just do it. <laughs> Obviously, there's some situations where like you know the risk is a little it's a little different. Where like getting sent back to neutral is pretty much a death sentence for you. Drop combo. That's probably fine. Oh no! Didn't didn't confirm. Ah. So no, cool. outside the web there. We're just gonna bounce on the head. Can yeah, I was, I was about to say. No, like, you gotta use is, recluse. Use recluse. This is some memeage, but yeah, quarter circle back kicks is the thing to do there. Use recluse, or probably you probably could have just dashed out and got a punish. Honestly, that too. I've like sitting in a corner and just like jumping at people over and over <laughs> in ki is very scary because jumps in this game are broken um and anti-airs don't exist i mean i don't i don't blame craven for kind of freezing up there because like i've never yeah, seen that either. situation either yeah right yeah exactly <laughs> like this situation in the corner in this game when people are just jumping at you and you're just blocking oh, it over no. and over it makes sense because empty low is literally unblockable so, oh, you know, yeah. you gotta be really scared for that. <laughs> oh, get a full punish? No! Oh, no! Yeah, I didn't confirm. I think she's getting a little nervous. It's a little mess up. I mean, uh, this this pressure from Ragnarok is very overwhelming. Like, it's very... Mm -hmm. Again, they're very, very experienced. And they they know all their, they know their shit. 100%. Like, every time you get a big opportunity, like the, a whiff counterbreaker, a whiff shadow counter, any one of those things, Button into shadow, heavy button into shadow. Get your maximum amount of damage you can get that they cannot break at all. Yeah. It's. Yeah, any. Like, heavy button into a heavy special, or just even a heavy button into a medium special. Like, it's it's always better than jab, jab, light opener. Mm -hmm. Or just going for a throw. And that was three, unfortunately. No. Yeah. I mean, the game is hard. The game is hard. Ragnarok game is is a, is a veteran. Also, that too. He yeah. is a definitely a player that I'm like, I'm on the edge of whether I should actually let them play in this, just because of That's, what it is. But That's slash, funny. what's up? Enjoy the commercials. Yeah. <laughs> now, one of my one of my favorite lines because I've got a bunch of friends who play like Omega Strikers, which air hockey with League of Legends characters. You wouldn't okay. think it's really difficult, but it's actually insanely hard. And they're always like, oh, I'm bad, I'm bad. I'm like, no, 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 no. The game is hard, and that's why it's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop shitting on yourself. No, that's... Like, especially, like, newer players, this is, like... Yeah. It's one of the most frustrating things to just watch happen a lot of times, is, like, they'll just tell themselves they're bad all the time, which is just, you know, it's not... I watch experienced players do that, and I'm like, man, if you're if you suck, then what am I? Oh, yeah, God. yeah, I hate that shit too. It's rude. Yeah, like the game is hard, and the game is interesting because it is difficult. That's you what can makes take, it interesting. You can take a minute, buddy. That's okay. And also, Craven, yeah. if you want to take a break, yes, please. Like, please, just you know, take a few minutes to ready up if you want to do that. We can. We, we can. We have time. Where it's yes. not. Gonna, it's not going to be a long stream, unfortunately. Yeah, you you do whatever you want to. Like Please. Uh, at most like Bio five break. minutes, we can vamp here. You know, it'll it'll be fine. Yeah, we're we're gonna be okay. <laughs> I can talk. I, I can talk about my disappointment that uh, Broski kind of flubbed his chance to auto qualify into the Capcom Cup. Oh man, I I do not like the format. No, Capcom it's Cup. terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. It's not great. Um, I I still sort of pedestal the international like the dota 2 the big dota 2 championships I, I is probably my worked. favorite bracket which is where they have i think it's 12 slots that are either invites or people who have won majors or like that kind of stuff or teams that are invited either based on placement or based on you know whatever mm -hmm. um in or the points circuit and then others 
they also, I think, give room to just have special invitees for teams that are like, no, we know that these guys are really good. Let's just invite them. Yeah. And then they have a regional qualifier, like a regional last chance qualifier for every region, which means you always get to see some of the more like unknown teams from smaller regions because their last chance qualifiers are not a whole bunch of really, really big, really, really good teams going to that last chance qualifier because <laughs> they can't qualify anywhere else. <laughs> yeah. And New York, too, true, New Yorker took away the Brit man spot. Are, are they from New York? I thought they were West Coast people. Who? Are they from New York? Uh, Lex and um, what's his brother's name? His brother is the more known player. Why can't I think of him? I, I have no idea. The only Street Fighter people that I know are Takedo. Why can't I think of his name? I go. <laughs> I'm blanking. Uh, I mean, the only reason I remember I got Lex on the mind is because I just watched it earlier. But, uh,. Yeah, I said it used to be JB. That's right. I knew it was Rashid player, but I, my brain was blanking. But uh, yeah, you're back too. I mean, if you're ready what to play, qualifier? Uh, they what do. What qualifier just happened? The it was the number five World Warrior for UK and Ireland. And oh, okay. UK and Ireland is a super region. That means whoever had the highest point total overall just auto qualifies, whereas the next eight will uh. They'll play it out, out in the okay, cool. final. Sure. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I cool. really like I like the the regional representation. I think that's really cool. But I think they need more ways to get like the the actual like top talent into the final format because there's a lot of them that are yeah. just left out. Like, See, this is why I really this is why I like how Dota does it. They're like, you know, we have twelve or like. 11 or 12 slots for teams who have qualified based on points and then a regional LCQ where it's like a little more properly region locked mm -hmm. and I, I really like that doesn't trust the meaties fashion on wake up I respect it <laughs> let's go yeah, I baited the parry but didn't uh, didn't capitalize I kind of I really wish Craven would just stop going for this die pick stuff like the the salt aside and whatnot, it's just not working out. It works Wait, so much. Which one's Sadira's dive kick? Are she we talking about two. like the she has two forward jump off kunai? No, no, no. Uh, okay. I'm calling them dive kicks. They go vertically down. She has one that bounces off your oh, head, yeah, and yeah, one yeah. that just goes all the way down straight to the ground. And uh, yeah, they're down. just not working out for her a lot of times. She catches some lucky hits sometimes. But I feel like she'd be doing way better if she just focused on doing like single or double jumps and then landing with a normal like cross up button or something. Ooh, that was that was a little ambitious. I'm sure there was a really swaggy combo there that the KB was just too high for. Oh my god, jumping heavy kick. That's a yeah, good button. Good break. I respect that. Yeah, I like those dragon kicks too. Like Craven is oh, yeah, that... taking to the air a lot, which you can definitely just Oh, that was a counter hit. She could have blocked. Man, yeah, the there's there's a bunch of characters that have a handful of options. Kisako being the classic example of like, after a counter break or after, you know, both characters roughly re return to neutral, there's like a thing that you can do that'll basically beat all of your opponent's options if they're like pushing a button or doing something. Like if they're impatient, mm -hmm. um, Shadow on Ryozon will just blast through anything. Just it's about. It's true, I hate it. Um, <laughs> and Kim's Dragon Kick is really good at that. It's I've been on the receiving end many, many times. It's pretty good at that. It's not quite as good as Shadow on Ryazan. But... I mean, yeah, but it's metered. Like, we'll just drop... I mean, on, you can only... I mean, either one of them. I don't think <laughs> it's really working out for her a lot. I feel like she'd be doing way better if she just went for traditional jump-ins because if they're blocked, usually it's still your turn, and you don't have to worry about getting punished for it. Yeah, K KI's jump-in buttons are mad plus. Again, jumping, jumping in this game is broken. Um, and empty jump low is unblockable. Jumping is extra broken if you're Idol, Rash, or Aganos. It's true. They have fuck Aganos. <laughs> like I, I, you know, I, everyone knows I'm an Idol hater. She, she does not care. If she's going at. You know, I appreciate it. I I'm an Idol it. hater though. I think the tournament. Uh, everyone knows that, but I, I legitimately think nice, that, his, here. that his air hurt box is a balance issue. <laughs> I, I agree. It's it's some hot bullshit. No breaks. Finish Still it. No breaks. This okay. Go. Big big combo. Hell yeah, forty percent. No. 
Oh, Ooh. she was impatient. Went through the throw. Yeah. She's gotta stop jumping immediately. Don't jump every single time. That's why he keeps Again. dragon kicking. Yeah. Again, Heavy. Rep represent oh. all your options. Okay. Uh, you know what? I I appreciate the head bounce there. I wasn't block. Lost. Let's go. Nice. Punish. No. If you if you well. you gotta hit confirm the web hits. You gotta make sure you yeah. actually get the webs. And body needs a back up. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, if you're if you're doing the, uh, okay, that was chunky, the uh, head bounce and you are no, in instinct and can cover it, it, like, that's great. Um, it is a super ambiguous cross-up, but, yeah, if you, if you don't. Because, like, bodied hasn't really shown, like, a big commitment to, you know, like, a big anti-air button that just halting your jump trajectory suddenly is going to take advantage of. I mean, he's um, been dragon kicking. He tried an anti-air there. Yeah, it, it, like, you know, the, the head bounce stuff is great for things like that. Um, and, you know, I, I you love to see it, but I don't know if Kim has one oh, of those anti-airs that you really need there to bait out Backing with something up. like that. I like that. it. I like it. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, just stay away from the web. Just stay away from the stop web. Stop jumping. Please just stop chill. jumping. You have the life lead. It's fine. No, come Wait down. for them to do something silly. There it is. Oh. Clean. You're negative one after I think after um, Blade Demon, Shadow Blade Demon. You gotta you gotta take your turn a lot of times. Yeah, I'm like, there's no way that thing is plus. <laughs> It'd be terrifying if it was. I think I, I I'm always a little unsure sometimes of some more rare frame yeah, yeah. data that I don't see a lot. Well, I mean, uh, they'd have to rework how it works if it was negative because he would drop combos off of openers because of it. Like he. If anything, I wish they would do it based on combo state. Like, if he's not got a hit already, I wish he was his only option was to like block or something. But the fact that he can like DP, like that's how Abba works. Well, Abba works like that all the time. And Guilty Gear Strive is whenever she does a, a mode change, she can block on reaction, but she that's all she can do for 10 frames. She can't act out of it. Oh, you know what? I I like that. <laughs> but it would have to be work differently for idle because of like how the head swap can happen after you like get hits. Like outside of the normal yeah. combo structure, you can still swap heads. That's good punish, but no hick of him. He's like going into these Ooh, katas, yeah, yeah, like, the backward dragon kata. Yeah, he's just doing it like without like trying to hick of him or anything. He's just doing it. I mean, I will say this though. Uh, I I like that Craven is consistently quick rising, even if they or when they get uh, combo broken uh, in a juggle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right by brain. You really gotta stop jumping. She's been hit, getting hit by so many of these dragon kicks. Yeah. Sadira well, has good parry. Uh, I like Ooh. the attempt. I like the attempt. She she realizes it's a thing she can go for. Nice break. Okay. Oh no! Yeah, it didn't didn't have the uh, the projectile Patience. quite as tight as you'd want it. Yeah, she's still jumping too much. Use her walk speed. Yeah. Sadira's got good Sadira's walk, walk speed. Sadira's walk speed is good. Her buttons are not bad. No punish. Fine. Unfortunate. Oof. A lot oh no! Oh, never mind. Didn't didn't get much on it. Firecracker. I would advise against shadow countering unless you're really sure, because sometimes it pushes her outside of the range. She doesn't get a second hit. Hmm. Actually, I was going to ask, since you are a Kim player, no. um, what exactly is the answer to Firecracker? Because I see people do that all the time, and I'm like, what do you mean? You know, I throw a button into it, and then I get hit, and then I look like an idiot. A Firecracker is just let her do it. It doesn't threaten you at all. Fair enough. Good to know. A lot of times, if you have a fast-moving uh, forward-advancing move. You can just like go like without even trying. You'll just go through the two hits. Okay. There's yeah, some empty contact. If you have an invincible option, or even a shadow move, you could probably just tag her for it. Well, winning off priority as well. But that's okay, gonna be cool. that's gonna be three for bodied. Unfortunately, Craven's yeah. going out without uh getting any on the board. Like I said, she needs to calm down a little bit. Jumping. He needs to control herself, how much he's jumping. I hope I'm not coming off too negative. I'm trying not to, <laughs> I'm trying not to like 
jumped up people's throats too much. But you're sick. Okay, okay. Just, you know. I just don't want people to take what I... I you know, I'm trying to criticize their gameplay and whatnot, but I don't, I don't know who is and isn't, like... Um, let's say... They take personal offense to uh, yeah. certain things. I'm trying to be gentle. Yeah. Okay, we just have one more set. That's a, it's a fast little tournament here. Everything's with 3-0s. I, mean, yeah. I think this one, you know, maybe we can get one on the board. Although, you know, they were all 3-0s, but um, some of them were kind of close. It was just, you know, they one player just couldn't really get the clutch out. Yeah. Like, there were some close games in there, you know. 3-0, mm -hmm. but it was close. Yeah, marked an option launch. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that actually an option? No, I wish. That would be, that would be oh. incredible. Be so funny. Even if they could, like, I don't know, let you add notes on like a uh, a match, that would be pretty funny. You could be like, it was close hilarious. though. Oh well. We we do what we can with what we got. Mm -hmm. You know, and we and we let fate figure it out from there. <laughs> but yeah, for Craven, once again, just, you know, get a little patience. It's it's really hard. Trust me. I've been trying to implore it myself. You gotta just be a little bit more patient. You gotta walk a bit more. You were jumping yeah. so much, and Body got so many dragon kicks. He got that shadow dragon kick second hit on you because you were jumping so much as well. <laughs> Whenever that happens, I want to say most of the time it's an accident, but it is always funny. <laughs> There's very few guaranteed hits where that happens, and yeah, some people try to get the trade with an air to air, not a trade, but they try to get like hit them in the air. It, it doesn't work. If you see it's... if you see Kim start up Shadow Dragon dance or kick, stop doing everything you're doing and just yeah. wait to see how it plays out. If they don't have dragons to cancel it, you get a clean punish on the way down. Okay. We will we'll take the throw punish. I have a strange feeling that West Style is gas breaking. Yeah. Very uh, early. I feel like <laughs> most most opponents in this bracket are going to be gas breaking. I have seen some heavy reaction breaks though. That's, That's definitely yes. the first thing you should look for when trying to react. Don't try to be it's, too uh, obvious with your breaks though. But yeah, that's something to look for. Represent all your options. Is what I always like to say. You cycle. You gotta do a cycle. You gotta cycle yeah. them off. Ooh. Okay, that was cute. Okay. See, there was a gust oh, I was gonna say me. spend your meter. Oh no. Uh oh. Yeah, Eclipse is a little bit of a bait against Adira because of her double jump. It's just, it's so tricky. Yeah. I also get the feeling that uh, Eclipse is like there's some there's some wonky hitbox stuff that makes it. Like, on paper, it would be fantastic, but then, in practice, it doesn't always work the way you want it to. I'm sure Roman knows a lot better <laughs> than we would. Oh, there we go. There's, there's a good idea. I don't know if, uh, like, some of these players, I don't know if they actually, like, pay attention. I know some that do. I don't know if Westall does. Something to go for, for one of your options against Adira is air-to-airs. You yes. meet her in the air and press a button. I think Jumping Heavy Punch is probably Saber Wolf's best one for that. Yeah. He, like, I think he does like an upward scoop with his claw. Yeah. Or an up-ish yeah, scoop with the claw. Because Sidira definitely, she has so many very annoying ways to deal with you trying to anti-air her when you are grounded. Mm -hmm. And like, her air-to-air -air buttons I feel are not... Well, I mean like, I play characters with fucking stupid air to air buttons so you know i'm not one to talk but she doesn't seem like she has what? a litany of fantastic air to air buttons in the way that like some other characters do uh her air to air buttons are not great but kunai yeah. have a uh, priority so those can kind of work it out as well yeah but uh yeah like kunai's double jumps um the head stomp to just like completely arrest her air momentum She's got lots of really good ways to bait out anti-airs that I always get hit by. Yeah, a lot of times anti-airing Sidera is a bait, unless you have a really strong anti-air option that goes up really high. No, oh, yeah, I, I agree thoroughly. 
That's good to hear, Craven. That's like the main thing. Is like, you right, know, no matter, there's, there's no matter how we're here. criticizing the gameplay and whatnot, like, don't beat yourself up about it. There's always room for improvement for every player. Like, yeah, and as as I will, as I've gotten into the habit of saying, the game is hard. It is interesting Ooh. because it is difficult, and we all make mistakes. No, I don't like the okay. sweet sets. Finish your combos, please. Yeah, uh, yeah, that too. Like, definitely one of the things that, uh, you know, in terms of uh, sort of watching rookie tournaments, and this is also, you know, what, what I used to do when I, when I first started, is you look at the options in terms of, like, levels of complexity. Like, are they playing the fighting game at all? Like, do they know what the fundamentals of the fighting game are? Mm -hmm. Then are they representing all of their options? And then are they representing, like, character matchup specific stuff? Nice. That was a nice shadow counter. I was going to say, he had two mistakes in that last life. Our finish your combo, please, I'm begging just, you. Yeah, please, just cash it out. <laughs> um, but yeah, what's whatever, it? And he, like, whatever he popped instinct, he could have shadow clips to get out of the situation. And then the, the yeah. heavy kunai came afterwards. And it looks like he did mm. realize that he missed a shadow counter because he got the next one. Yeah. Also, yeah, trying to shadow counter Sadir is also not easy. Like, you need to be looking out for a lot of things when she's jumping. Mm -hmm. Shadow okay. counter is just another one. Right. Oh wow, that actually hits up that high. I did not think it did. Yeah, that was... that surprised even me. Oh, the cross up? The low! Ooh, the empty jump low! We love it. Very cool. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, one of the, definitely one of the things that is uh, sort of if you have like the beginning of are you playing a fighting game and then are you familiar with the KI specific um, mechanics is like, are these people consistently cashing out with quote unquote the best, like consistently cashing out with the ender that is most appropriate to the situation? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I, you go ahead, sorry. I do want West Isle to just just drill the optimal lockout combo a little bit <laughs> and oh, yeah. then get really used to just cashing that out with the damage ender. Yeah, that's something, um, I, that's something I need to do with my full core, actually. It's actually look up what the optimal uh, uh, yeah. lockout and co counter breaker combos are because I have yeah. not learned them yet. Yeah, my very first uh, tournament that I played with Hisako, I was doing... I didn't realize that I was doing the Orchid optimal counter breaker and just I just right. looked like an idiot because I was like, why Why am I getting the medium linker? And I thought I was doing the light one and I just wasn't. <laughs> mm -hmm. Damn, that was a clean first round. Westall just not getting anything started. No, yeah, just Sadira things. Okay. Ah, no yeah. Pharaoh cancel. Nice. Yep. So what? <laughs> oh my god. That was nasty. I mean... You know what? I I respect that. They're they're trying to do something. Scrambling on defenses. It has to happen sometimes. Yeah. Oh, that was a good bait, but wasn't quite ready for it. But yeah, what you were talking about, like playing the game and whatnot, like or if they know how to play the game, like whatever Wag Ragnarok is taking a pretty good advantage of. Not that Westall doesn't know how to play the game. But he's doing knowledge checks. He's like saying, like, do yeah. they know how to deal with this? No, I'm just going to keep doing that. Yeah, and certainly, like, uh, as you mentioned, if someone's not punishing your counterbreaker attempts, you can just go for them more recklessly. It's like, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll eat a throw instead of, like, getting killed for it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and just little things like that where, you know, you obviously you don't want to leave damage up on the table, and KI, there's a lot of... Especially like with lockouts, there's a lot of easy ways to get metric shit tons of damage, and like looking into optimizing that is is really meaningful. Yeah, and once again, not once again. I I, I think I said it like once, but Weapon Ragnarok wins this little tournament. It's not that surprising. <laughs> he's he's the yeah. veteran of the game. Very good, and like. Yeah. It's it's hard to get matchup experience against good Sidiras. Here's what you do though: the secret, you get in Discord, you say, "Hey, when's the time we can play?" I know yes. Webbins, yeah. he's in the 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 Ultra Fine Discord at least. I don't know if he's in the main Ki Discord, but if you know people are on Discord, you know, shoot them a little DM. Yeah. Don't get weird if they don't answer you. Just you know, 
shoot them one DM. If they don't answer you, leave it alone. Ask for a set. Yep. But yeah, it is, it is it is the best way to do things. Um, I know the uh, like the main Killer Instinct Discord has been. There's a few people who have been regularly pinging the netplay rolls. There's like feedback, Cyber, uh, Nova, or Grimothy Reaper, and I think yeah. Dynamic, and maybe a couple other people. But it's been a dynamic. little quiet recently, so like we we could use more at netplay pings. I could definitely <laughs> see Idol giving Sidera some issues, yeah, but I don't think it's as easy as just picking the character. I don't know, it is Idol though. Idol, I think, might be the dumbest character in the game. Like, the most brain dead. <laughs> not to, I'm not discouraging good Idol players either. I'm just saying, like, getting up the, the skill floor of playing the character, I think, is not super hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there, there you go. Webin, you can, you can ping them for, you can ping them for Zedira matches. Yeah, if you, if you want some matchup experience, definitely. Yeah, yeah. If you have any characters that you're suffering with, Try to find a specialist, hit them up, see if you can find out a time that y'all can play together. I did it for, um, whenever Combo Breaker was coming up, it didn't actually work out because I guess they showed up late or something. My first match was against Masiaga. Uh, also, uh, what was his original name? Wait, his original name was Masiaga. He goes by Scoob now, I think, or something like that. Oh, okay. Scoob's uh, yeah, but I was gonna play Masiaga, so I was like, I, I gotta get some Sidera experience. I didn't hit up Weapon, sorry Weapon. I hit up uh, <laughs> Sam D. I hit up Calypso on Twitter. I oh, hit wow, up yeah. I hit up uh, other people too. I can't think of all of them right now, but I was like, uh, you know, I just putting the the feelers out there, seeing if anybody could help me out. Sam D. I yeah. actually I got a lot of gameplay with Sam D. He gave me some good advice. So and yeah. I'll, also. Ask your own character specialist. I also hit up Sonic Dolphin. He gave me some good advice for the matchup as well. Unfortunately, sure. I didn't. I didn't get to use it at Combo Breaker, but you know, <laughs> it was good for me yeah, to yeah. actually try to you know get that experience and whatnot. Yeah, one of the one of the things was um, also speaking of character and matchup experience. Go to KI Tracker and go to their videos, and you can look up uh, VODs by matchup. So you can pick like character number one and character number two, and you can see what really good players are pressing in neutral, what kind of situations they're trying to set up. Um, when I was really making it a point to learn, when I like first picked up Aria, I just watched a lot of like, hey, how does Kron play neutral in this matchup? Or, you know, what is Alex doing? to clown on the next person playing <laughs> whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and I got a lot out of that. Like, if, you, if you're if you really lost and you can't get a hold of someone right now, go find the matchup. There's some great community resources. That's um, another thing, and, you know, setting the tapes. It's very good. And yep. setting your own replays. If you, like, got, if you yes. got messed up by somebody, just, like... Go watch your own replay and see, like, what is, like... What is... What are you getting hit by so much? And try to figure out what it is, or just you know, look at that. Figure out what you're getting hit by. Ask fellow players of your character, like, "Hey, how do you deal with this? What is this? How do you? What do you, what do, you do?" Yep. And that's it. But um, yeah, that's it. I don't want to. I don't want us to ramble on forever because we're going. No, of to. course not. Um, but, I have I have one last point to okay. make about watching your own replays, which is, um, I know there were some people who would do it like right after the vod, they would immediately go check. Give it like a couple days. Like let things percolate calm down especially if you got absolutely wiped and oh, yeah. then I, go take a look at I, it i, I, would definitely I think say, that's the best way to do it i would definitely say give it some time just so you're yeah. just so, so you're in a different mindset like a lot of times it's exactly. the same with the, like puzzle games like a lot of times you're like locked into this one way of thinking you cannot see anything else you just you just yeah. need you just need uh some time to like empty your brain get it in a different state there's actually a video that Devil made in a set with ferrets, where they talk. About I remember that. that was, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that was, uh, that that's was fun. <laughs> pretty good. But yeah, I'm gonna just you know do the little say what the results are here. It's funny because we also this week again we got all the uh, all the different variables of what could have been the set turnouts for like. So we got 3-0, first place, Web and Ragnarok, two one West Hall in second place, bodies in third with one two, and then Craven went oh three. So that's just, I don't know, that's yeah. fun. It's a little math. Not math, it's just numbers. Life it's imitates easy. art. But thank you so much, uh, Sean, for hopping on. I should yeah, no, uh, thanks for having me. hit you up for some info and 
like a picture to represent you, whether that's you or something else, just so I can make a little. Oh, it's um. You. Yes, uh, no, no, I will I'll, send I'll, you. I'll hit you up on the glasses. I'll, I'll hit you up on Discord. Um, yeah, sounds good. <laughs> just so I can have you know people know who's okay, talking good. and whatnot. Hey, I'm so going to send you all. We, I'm going to send you all over to raid? Executioner. They're going to start an MVCI tournament in two and a half minutes, and they're running the oh, Beyond. Be they're running the Beyond mod, so this is like the game looks Ooh. so much better, and there's some additional gameplay uh, balancing, very slight balancing, but it's nice little things. You you'll like to commentate. Uh, you're welcome to try out. We can uh you know we can run you one week. I probably won't push you out of the booth unless you're like <laughs> you're really annoying or something. But yeah, I'm gonna send you all over there. Um, uh, all you gotta do is ask. Like Sean, he literally hit me up after I started and it's like, "Hey, can I commentate?" And it's like, "Yeah, sure." Yeah, no, like uh, I've solo commentary is not super fun. It's nice to just have it's someone fine. to help I, fill I, the I, air. I'm gonna send you all over to X. I don't want to keep on yeah. going forever. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, that to cut you off. I feel like no, we're just rambling fine. at this point. <laughs> But y'all yeah. have a good night. Sign up for the weekly Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Please sign up. Let's go have fun. Let's hang out, play some KI. And I'll yeah, see y'all later. Woo! Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Stream's over.